What is going on everybody, Zonic here, and in today's video we got a fun team to be running here in the Great League Remix Cup, and that is going to be Bronzong, Walrein, and Dugong. I haven't used the Freedom Bell in a long, long time. Uh, it's such a cool Pokemon, honestly, only really dominates some specialty cups, some niche opportunities, like we are going to see with the Remix Cup for how common Dragons and Polyrath are. We are running it with Psyshock and uh, Payback over there we also have walrein and dugong double ice on the back line the whole goal right is uh to get the polyrath out of the game either catch it on the lead or draw it out with dugong and then look to have walrein sweep i hope you guys enjoy all right getting into the first battle we have bronzong on the lead versus jellicent probably one of the toughest pokemon you guys are going to be facing off against and confusion actually does a lot of damage in this matchup we do need to watch out for the shadow ball as that'll obviously basically one shot because of our psychic typing so we're gonna go ahead and give up a shield here and i believe this was that might have been four um, I was hoping it was five, but uh, I could I could be wrong just counting right there I think it was five. We're gonna go ahead and go for Psy shock now do as much neutral damage as possible Look to force a shield and we do get it So we're gonna go ahead and swap into dugong and get ahead on energy uh, What we're hoping for is to draw that polyrath maybe even a uh, vigoroth and then take it from there with Bronzong. We do draw out the Vigoroth, so we're gonna go ahead and go for Icy Wind to apply that neutral damage and the attack debuff. And if this Vigoroth is running the meta moveset, which is gonna be Rock Slide and Body Slam, Bronzong doesn't need to worry about it. That's what's really cool. What it needs to worry about is the old moveset when uh, Vigoroth used to run Bulldoze, right? So we're going to go ahead, let this charge move go through. It is going to be the Bonnie Slam. We're going to come back in here with Bronzong and then try our best to commit to the farm down. We'll have to see how much damage we do take from these charge moves. This was basically right away, so I don't think this is Bulldoze. It is going to be Rock Slide, so we do know the move set. And now we should be able to Confusion down. They might be able to get to a Bonnie Slam in time, but we can easily survive this. And then we're going to... Uh, Try to go for the Psy Shock or the double Psy Shock, but they swap in on me, unfortunately. So a good catch right there by them. I'm not allowed to go for the back to back, so I can only get one Psy Shock off. But I'm going to come in with Wall Rain and pray that maybe they have a Skarmory in the back. Maybe they have another Flyer. They need a better cover to Grass type Pokemon. Um, so we're going to go ahead and No Shield is going to be Shadow Ball, unfortunately. And the final Pokemon is going to be. They're taking a while. Maybe they're waiting for Switch Clock, let's see. It's gonna be Gligar, so that's gonna be a good game. Obviously the Flying Ground really helps out right there against Electric and uh, Grass-type Pokemon, but Walrein running the uh, Double Ice in the back like I have been pays off, uh, pays off big in a lot of these battles. So we're gonna go ahead and shield, go for this next Ice Cool Spear right away. A switch Clock is not up just yet, and this should be enough damage to KO the Gligar, and then Vigoroth was like one or two fast moves away from going down. Boom, down it goes, and then we do take out Vigoroth, and that is gonna be a good game, very well played. All right, moving to the next one, Bronzong versus Empoleon. Empoleon's uh, a tough one to deal with. We're going to go ahead and go into Dugong here, but thankfully we have Drill Run on Dugong, Earthquake on uh, Wall Rain, and then we also have Payback on our Bronzong. So we're going to go ahead and no shield. The Drill Packs here don't do that much damage, and the fact that they're deciding to stay in tells me they're pretty weak in the back here to Dugong, which means they might be weak to Wall Rain. So we're going to trust in that, right? If they had a good counter, like say they had a Polyrath, for example, or a Vigoroth, it would have come in already. Um, against the dugong the fact that they're not tells me it could be stuff like skarmory it could be dragons it could be gligar it's some something weak to ice it could be maybe claude sire even potentially back there that ground typing so we're gonna go ahead and let this go we're gonna trust in our wall rain to close this game out as they uh, might be very weak to ice and we're going to go ahead and come in with that wall rain and look to powder snow down and get as much energy as possible. And they do swap out, blind swap out, and it is going to be a Gligar. So this is, this might just be a good game. I'm guessing Gligar Skarmory might be the combination there as we do, boom, one shot it. And let's see what Pokemon number, uh, number three is going to be. 
Oh, it's even better. It's a Shadow Dragonite. So no wonder they didn't come in with anything against the Dugong is because they had two Pokemon weak to ice in the back, which this team was putting in some work against teams that were obviously weak to ice, especially two times. So that's going to be a good game. And Polion's going to go ahead and go down here to Ice School Spear. If they decide to give up that final shield, we just go for another one, right? But they're going to go ahead and no shield it. Good game to my opponent, but obviously I had a hard counter backline for them. All right, moving into the next one, Bronzong versus Salazzle. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and stay in right here. Um, I'm hoping Confusion does enough super effective damage. They do get to a Poison Fang. This is, it's only two Incinerate, so this is going to be Poison Fang, which we can no shield. But Incinerate here is going to be cooking us for real, but we do get the full farm down and switch. So now, that was a spicy Pokemon, by the way. Um, now we do see that Skarmory is going to go ahead and come in. So we're going to counter swap, saving our energy, come in with the Dugong. This is a really safe situation for us uh, because Slazzle's obviously out of the game. And if they have something to counter Dugong, oh, that is going to be a Brave Bird, boom, uh, like a Grass type Pokemon, for example, maybe even Poliwrath. Oh, I'm always assuming Poliwrath in these games now. Um, it's not always the case, as you guys are seeing, but you prepare for the worst, right? And we will see that Superior coming in is going to get taken out pretty easily with ice types even though we take super effective damage and they decided to uh, go for uh, aerial ace there unfortunately even though they do super effective damage with grass right so uh, vine whip as the fast move frenzy plan as the charge move powder snow is doing a lot of damage right back and we are just getting ourselves a ton of energy in a situation like this wall rain shines when it has a lot of energy especially against a skarmory that's already cleared all of its own energy and we should be able to get two shields right here um, we might even be able to get to a third ice school spear and obviously we have that payback locked and loaded there on our shiny bronzong so we're going to be swapping to that they decided to no shield the first one which is fine i'm going to go ahead and just throw two more and once i get that second shield we're swapping out right away so there's shield number one and then now we should be able to get shield number two i will give up a shield here i've said shield like six times in the last 20 seconds but that's okay we're going to go ahead and stop that Go for Ice School Spear. This gets their final shield. And then we're going to swap into Bronze on Go for Payback. And that's going to be a good game. Um, the combination of this team is really, really fun. Now, there are some hard counters, which we're going to be facing off against here soon. Good game to my opponent. Boom. All right, moving into the next one. Bronzong on the lead versus Dragonair. Okay, so this is something our whole team can handle. Once again, fearing Poliwrath. Um, in the back, so I'm going to go ahead and swap in a Dugong to try to draw it out, but we draw out a Charger Bug, which is good as well. Uh, Charger Bug does very well against our Water Typings uh, because of the super effective damage they can do with right with the uh, Volt Switch and Discharge. So we're just going to go for Icy Winds, debuff it as much as we can, and then come in with Bronzong and farm down um, and kind of see what we can do from there. As we're going to go ahead and give up a Shield. Try to see if we can take this into the ones as we will go for another Icy Wind. If they decide to no shield this, great. If they uh, if they do decide to shield, that's fine by me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, no shield. Yeah, no shield the next one. Sorry, I did these battles yesterday morning. Um, x are not enough to KO, so they're trying to uh, bait me there. And they're going to have to go for another one, which we might just be able to survive, to be completely honest. Let's see. Nope, we don't survive. Okay, we're going to go ahead and come in with the uh, with the Bronzong here. I do click on Bronzong. Yeah, I do click on Bronzong. And we're going to farm down. This is perfect. So now if they come back in with Dragonair, which they don't, they come in with Skeletor. So this is going to be close. We're going to go ahead and go for Payback. Get that final shield from the opponent. Obviously, this one-shots if they decide to let it go. And then we got to uh, try to see if we can get to the Psy Shock in time. But actually, I may be making a grave mistake of staying in. So, we're going to go ahead and give up our shield on Disarming Voice. I'm going to look to go for another charge move. But they swap into Dragonair right away. So, I'm going to go ahead and come in with Wall Rain. Looking back at that, I should have just gone into Wall Rain right away. Um, but, you know. And I could have gone for uh, Psy Shock as well as a Shield Bait, but we can go ahead and go for Ice School Spear here to take out the Shadow Dragonair as they have no shields remaining. And then Skeledurge in the back. Uh, I don't think we make it to an Earthquake in time, so we're going to try to go for the Ice School Spear, but we don't get it. And this is where things get very dangerous is because I only have Psy Shock ready to go. 
and this might not be enough to KO, but Freedom Bell gives me W's. Boom, that is going to be a good game, very well played. That's why I should have gone with Psyshox instead of Payback. All right, next one, Guzzlord. This is obviously a tough lead. Uh, they resist everything from the Bronzong, so we got to come in with Dugong, and they do come in with Charger Bug. So we got two hard counters already, um, and this is a situation where we might want to be going for Switch. And the reason being is we can't do any neutral damage to the Guzzlord, right? Confusion and Payback are going to be resisted by that Dark Typing on Guzzlord's side. And we do have a Wall Rain in the back, so I'm going to go ahead and let this first one go through. It is going to be Discharge, and then we're going to go ahead and go for Icy Wind. My hope was that that was an X Scissor. Sometimes they really like baiting early, um, but Icy Wind here, just enough to land, and they decide to throw the Charge move which means I can technically shield and fast move down before I get hit with another charge move, which or fast move, I should say, which I do. So now we successfully got switch, which is huge. This is really big for us, and our only hope is that uh, whatever they have in the back, Bronzong does well against. If it doesn't, then we're going to be in a bit of trouble. So Guzzlord does decide to stay in. Maybe they're double weak to Guzzlord, which would actually be really bad for me. My thoughts are maybe uh, Skarmory in the back. Just uh, that defensive typing to uh, to fighting and fairy, right? Because of, obviously, Dark Dragon. Um, but they're deciding to stay in and now we're actually in a lot of trouble because they're just going to farm me down. So I actually have to swap back into Bronzong right here, which is really unfortunate because this is not a good matchup. They obviously have uh, access to, cr I believe it's Crunch. Yeah, it is going to be Crunch. We're going to go ahead and shield and then they actually have a Gligar in the back. So they, we had a good team, um, to take them down, but unfortunately, I think giving up the shield on my dugong might have been the mistake because what I really needed was a lot of energy on wall rain in order to win this game. So good battle to my opponent. All right, moving to the next one, we have uh, Bronzong versus Whimsicott and a swap into Whizcash. Now this was an interesting swap. Obviously, I earlier this week I used a uh, Whizcash um, Whimsicott core team and it paired with a Polyrath. Now, the tough thing, if they are in fact running that team, is Polyrath is not a good answer to uh, Bronzong. And by them swapping in Whizcash, it makes me think maybe they're running double Mud Boys. Um, so maybe Swampert's in the back and Whizcash is the safe swap. But if they do in, have, do in fact have Polyrath, they're going to be having a very tough endgame because Bronzong's just going to be able to clean through the Whimsicott and the Polyrath, right? Because of its typing and move set. So we're going to go ahead and no shield the Mud Bombs here. Um, so in hindsight, if, if I was the opponent looking back at this game um, and seeing the Bronzong lead, and there, sure enough, there is a Polyrath, um, the whole point of this team is to catch the the polyrath or bait it out so if i was them i would have just sacked the whimsicott and then come in with Whizcash, taken out the bronzong and let polyrath uh sweep through my back line right um that's just a different way to to look at this game but obviously they didn't know what i had i kind of hit him by surprise bronzong something spicy you don't see on the lead i mean can throw a lot of people off so good game to my opponent uh, pretty cool that they are running a team that I ran earlier this week. I hope they had success with it. But Bronzong uh, breaks it apart. Bronzong, though, not that popular. Again, this is a this is a spicy run. I mean, as you guys can see, it, it handles Polyrath pretty well. And then Whimsicott here in the back is just going to get taken out pretty quickly as we can resist um, everything. But we decide to swap out into Wall Rain and go for the Icicle Spear to close this game out as it will be doing super effective damage. So good game to my opponent. This, um, it's kind of tough, right? If there's a, if there's a team that myself, like myself, no, like if you know, whether it's you watching or I know, um, and you see like two of the three Pokemon, you can kind of finesse your way through stuff by an educated guess at Pokemon number three, right? All right, moving into the next one, we got Skarmory here on the lead. Um, once again, there could be a Polyrath in the back. Um, so we're actually going to look to stand and go for a payback here. Just try to chunk down the Skarmory. They usually don't like to shield early, which getting this much damage on a Skarmory is huge. I tried to swap out into Dugong, um, 
the reason being is uh, I decided to shield as well, thinking it was going to be a Brave Bird, but it wasn't. They decided to swap out into Drift Blim, so I'm going to go ahead and come in with Wall Rain. Wall Rain. Now, Bronzon can easily no shield um, the, uh, the Sky Attack there, right? Brave Bird hits just a little bit harder. But again, my whole thought process is I need to keep Bronze on the line for Polyrats because there's probably a lot of them. Um, so hopefully there is one in the back that we can handle, but we're going to go ahead and look to take down this Drift Blim now with our Wall Rain and Ice Cool Spear as they're going to have to give up two shields if they want to maintain switch advantage, which even then I can come in with Dugong and look to farm down. Now looking at the setup of this team, we have two flyers already. So odds are they have something like uh, Polyrath or they have something maybe like Whizcash, something to handle the anti-flyers, right? So we're going to go ahead and come in with Dugong, load up on energy because if a Vigoroth comes in, a Whizcash comes in, Polyrath, we just want to debuff it. We're going to shield the Shadow Ball as well just to maintain um, some extra health here on Dugong. And they come in with Skarmory, which I'm like, oh, what could they have in the back? Maybe this is an interesting triple flyer team. Maybe there's a Dragonite back there as well or a Dragonair. So I swap into Bronzong, but they had a Stun Fisk in the back and no wonder they didn't want to come in to the dugong they were extremely weak now my swap as well was on what i think might have been a brave bird i was trying to catch it and unfortunately for me this unova stun fisk has the move set to core break me boom down i go i was not expecting the pancake and here we go it is going to come down to the wire as Discharge will land, I'm desperately trying to get to an Icy Wind. Remember, Skarmory's pretty low, but it all depends on how much energy it has. And I was calculating that, you know what, I might have been able to catch the Brave Bird. So they do decide to come in and they, they have the charge move ready to go. So my timing was good. They had the move. Boom, down we go. Good game, very well played. Unfortunate right there. All right, that was the final battle. So a slight misplay on me or on, uh, yeah, on me, so I should have just completely farmed down, and I think we could have taken that game easily if I just took out the Skarmory, even though I got hit with a Brave, I would have been hit with a Brave Bird, I could have just farmed down and then gone for Icy Winds against the Stunfisk, and that would have been a lot better and safer of a game to win, uh, so a slight mistake on my end, but this team was pretty fun, uh, double, sp double spice in the back, or not double spice in the back, Wall Rain is considered spicy, I would say right now, or, uh, kind of fringe meta, um, and then Bronzong's definitely spicy. It actually did a pretty good job, does well against Polyraths and Dragons. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And like always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.